Hello everybody and welcome to Connor Sports Up. So today I'm recapping the Tampa Bay Lightning at New Jersey Devils game. That just happened about 30 minutes I would have to say. So first of all, let's get out of the way. New Jersey is playing fantastic. I mean it's only been 6 games but they're 5-1. and one. For people who don't know, they drafted first overall last year. I mean they, they didn't have the worst points over the worst uh they weren't the worst team overall. Uh I mean I think they they were the fourth worst team. I know the uh Vancouver Arizona and uh Colorado were all worse than them. Possibly I mean, I, I tried to find the standings from last year, but I can't really find it. Because when I typed in 2017 standings, uh, the type, it comes in this standings for this year. And then uh, when I type in 2016 standings, it types, uh, it goes to uh, two years ago. So I, I don't know. But they're just kind of really overachieving right now. Will they stay? Let's be honest with you. Probably not, but nevertheless, they show plenty of potential. A bunch of rookies are playing well. I mean, uh, Nico Hischer didn't have his first po goal yet, but uh, as people said before, uh, Joe Thorne, possibly the best uh, passer ever in the NHL, didn't get his first goal in his rookie year until his 22nd goal, I mean, uh, game. So there's that. I mean, Nico Hischier should be a real good uh, center from years to come. But let's review the game. So let's start off with Drew Stafford. So I really like this guy. And part of the reason why I somewhat like... Okay, first of all, I like Tampa Bay more than I like New Jersey. Mostly because uh, I like Stamkos, even though he's always injured. I like Kucherov. I like uh, Hedman. And I really like their uniforms. Just blue and white. I really like the colors. Which is a stupid reason to like them. I mean, I'm not a fan of them, but I like some of their players. That's about it. But I really like Nico Hischier. I also like uh, Drew Stafford. Mostly because he played for the Jets and he played for the Bruins. And the Jets, I kind of root for the Jets a little bit. I'm not saying that, again, I'm not a fan of the Jets, but I root for them for them because uh, I guess they're a uh, underdog team. <laughs> so I always kind of liked uh, the Jets a little bit. But Drew Stafford, I really like this guy. He played really well for the Bruins in the playoffs. He had two goals this game. He uh, scored first with a wrister to make to get the Devils up 1-0. Uh, and then he also tied it up with a uh, rebound to make it 4-4. I'm going to sort of saying that this was a very exciting game at first, especially in the first period in which the score was 3-2. Uh, uh, in the second period, Tampa Bay scored uh, two points while uh, New Jersey scored zero, so they're up 4-3, four, four, and then uh, New Jersey tied it up with uh, the Drew Stafford rebound. But by the time I got to the third period, it really got a defensive game. Uh, the coach... Coaches don't like high-scoring games. Of course, fans do, but a coach does not want a team to play high-scoring. It's not the 80s anymore. There's actually defensive schemes. Like back in the day, like the live puck era, uh, when there was Wayne Gretzky and everything, they didn't have enough coaches. So they didn't have a uh, enough assistant coaches, at least, in which they didn't... Well, obviously, I'm not from the 80s, so from what I understand, they didn't have a defensive coach that actually uh, made out schemes during the game. All they had was an offensive coach, and mostly they focused on offense. That's why there were uh, so many high-scoring games back in the 80s and 70s, and somewhat for the 90s. It kind of uh, went down in the 90s, but it, it was still high, more high-scoring now. But with that said, scoring is going up right now. But also, with that said, the scoring is usually a little higher during the first month of uh, hockey because, well, I can't really explain why. <laughs> but uh, Drew Stafford got the first goal, I believe. Uh, okay, it's going to be a hard time pronouncing his name. Vladislav 
Nums, I can't remember. Number 90 of Tampa Bay. He got the first goal for Tampa Bay, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the first goal. Uh, he, right in front of the crease. And then I believe the, the second goal was from Andre Pallot, again, right in front of the crease. And then, let's see. I'll be, I'm just going to show you guys the points because honestly, um, I don't remember who scored what, where. So, let's look at the Lightning. So, uh, Nika Kucherov has a goal and a, an assist for two points. And then, Sugar, uh, Sager Chof, number 98, who uh, got traded from the Druin with the Druin trade. He had two assists, so he's playing really good. He's a rookie. I mean, Sergeyev. There you go. That's how you pronounce his name. I don't know why I was blanking on that for a second. And then, and then Pola again. He had the goal. And then moving on to the oh, uh, and uh, Stamkos had the goal, too. Like I said before, Drew Stafford had a uh, two goal. Brian Gibbons, who uh. Did get hit with the high uh, check, but once it penalized for it, I mean, I, the guy who, uh, I think it was Victor Hedman who uh, high sicked him. He didn't get penalized. It should have been a penalty, so I'm glad that uh, New Jersey won. But Brian Gibbons got hit in the head. He had a goal. Kyle Palmieri had the uh, shootout goal. And that's pretty much it, but this was a very good game. So, uh, for people who don't watch the NHL, I really recommend it because it is one of the best uh, sports in the world, in my opinion, my favorite sport right now, to watch at least. I mean, at least NHL is my favorite league right now because there's no politics or anything, and it's just funner to watch. There's, uh, there's a lot less stoppage. Yeah. Most of the time, there isn't too many scoring, but there's a lot of scoring chances, so it's just a fun game to watch. But with that said, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to share the video, and thank you for watching. Thank you.